Now, JD, um, we as uh, fans, we are uh, we're very fickle. We can be very tough. The idea of a rebuild, obviously, for fans, it's like, oh, but what can I see right now? I want to see what I got. I want to see what I got. In these two deals, did you get two starting pitchers who will be in the rotation for the Rangers the rest of the way? Well, we're gonna. So um, we may have. Uh, we got two starting pitchers. We think will pitch for us in the rotation in time. Each of their timelines, we'll see. So Spencer Howard is, is coming in here, I think, tomorrow. We're going to sit down with him and discuss kind of his plan and and, um, and what goes there. He, he left his last start with a, a little bit of a blister issue, and we're not really concerned about it at all going forward. But we want to make sure that that's good to go. We don't want him to come in here and, and feeling pressure to pitch with, with uh, you know less than 100%. So we'll see where that is. If he's good to go, then, you know, then he will – uh, be on the team and, and make some some pitch some innings for us, and then uh, yeah, as a starter, and then um, Glenn Otto, he's going to AAA. I think he had two starts at AAA for the Yankees after his promotion, so he'll pitch AAA, and then he'll be a, a candidate to come up and, and make starts for us later in the year. But we want to let him get settled into the organization first. So with Spencer Howard, you you mentioned how much you guys liked him, and I know he was like number 31 or 32 on the Baseball America list just a few months ago and has been a little down this year. Do you guys, because Brian Broaddus has friends in the baseball industry, and we've we've heard from some people that think that he can be front end of the rotation yeah. kind of guy. Do you guys see him that highly? He's got that kind of a pedigree and, and size and talent. Um, you know, I think what happens sometimes when – guys have you know initial struggles in the big leagues especially on the pitching side there's a little bit of a domino effect and it, it creates some doubt you know well was you know is he capable of it can he do it can he sustain it was it just in the minor leagues like and i think that has created a, an opportunity for us to to get him you know without if he goes up to philly and you know he's rolling out a, a two and a half era and he's mowing through guys like he's not available right where we don't get him and so um I think we we want to just kind of take our time. It, this last year and a half, for I mean, for all of us in the world, it's so crazy for for athletes too. Like these guys have skipped levels, they've skipped steps in development. You know, we had a short season. They they trained at home last year. They can't, just so many things are unusual, and we really think that that has played a role in you know some of the the performance that we've seen with different guys. So we want to take them in here when we get our arms around them. Um, but we are excited about his upside as a starter for us. J.D., do either of these guys, Otto or Howard, move ahead or close to lighter in your prospect rankings? Um, uh, great question. I, I think the industry would say that, you know, uh, you know Howard, how, kind of what you were referring to, how he was valued or viewed, you know, a little bit ago before he struggled here this season was closer to, to how, he's, how lighter is, is viewed. Um, you know, Otto is a guy. You know, he made some real changes. I mean, with his delivery and his, his command, and I, 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 you know, we we believe that they're sustainable. Um, you know, he's always had good stuff. It's a four pitch mix. He had success at Rice. He had a little bit of injury issue, but he's he's kind of come back on the scene. Cleaned up his delivery and he's pounding the strike zone where command used to be a little bit of a hiccup. So I don't think he's gotten the industry recognition yet um, that the other guys have. So with the position players you guys got in the Joey Gallo deal, Duran, uh, is it Hauver and Smith? Yeah, can you can you give us a, a thumbnail and an expectation on? I, I do like the idea of hey, where would they rank in your farm system now? Are these top ten guys and and they're listed as second base, second base, shortstop? Is that how you view them? Can we get a quick thumbnail on each? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Hauver is um, is a really advanced hitter. He played. Uh, Arizona State, he played some some short, some second, some left field. Uh, I think, you know, his, his defensive home ultimately, I, I'm not sure yet. Um, could be second, could be left, could be first. Um, but he is at home with a bat in his hands. This guy's got a really advanced approach. He's got power. Um, uh, you know, uh, what attracted to us, all three of these guys, they they hit the ball hard, they don't swing a mess. And that's, a, that's a pretty good combination pretty good baseline to start from um duran is, is somebody who is really taking a jump this year 21 years old playing high a um 
he is uh, was not like a was not a, a heralded guy coming out of the Dominican. He signed, did not sign for a lot of money. He's really self made and, and made himself into a really good player. Uh, our scouts loved him. Our, our evaluators in the office loved him. Ton of energy. Again, like kind of a, a, a bat first guy. He's been playing short and second. I think his home's probably at second, but we're gonna we're gonna see. And then uh, Josh Smith was the second round pick out of uh, LSU. Uh, left-hand hitter. Um, he is. Uh, we think he can really play shortstop. Um, I think because he, he's not uh, not particularly tall. I think there's you know that kind of get labels him and you know guys question can he stay there. We think he can. Um, but a shortstop with a really good left-hand swing and a lot more power than you think. He hits balls extremely hard and, and you know a variety of ways we measure it. Uh, a lot more power than you think for somebody that you know isn't you know isn't you know six four or something like that. So uh, those are that's kind of a, a thumbnail on each guy. Uh, Smith, they're all um, going to start at uh, at Hickory at High A, but you know uh, definitely considerations to move up to Double A here not too long. They're, they're kind of advanced bats. 